I'm back. Rudrance for Black and White Network. We're going to talk about Woody Harrelson being on SNL last night. And, whoa, he has gone viral because he has made some comments about COVID, the pandemic, Big Pharma, and everything that went on involving lockdowns, mandates. He gave a monologue last night that has the leftist heads spinning right now on social media. They're losing their minds. This one clip has got millions of views already, and uh, it's pretty amazing what Woody Harrelson came out and said last night on what is, generally speaking, a very a very leftist kind of format in Saturday Night Live. I almost never watch anymore. I watch Dave Chappelle. I did not realize Woody was going to be on. I am a big Woody Harrelson fan. I was looking at his IMDb earlier, and I was just like, my God. I mean, there's 20 movies on there I like. The High Women, Triple Nine, Natural Born Killers, Kingpin. I mean, The three, Thin Red Line. It just goes on and on. Zombie Land. He's great as Tallahassee. Absolutely awesome. He self-admittedly even comes out and says it. That he's a moderate. Okay? He doesn't identify as a conservative. Doesn't identify as a leftist. He called himself Purple. Okay? He's a big advocate of cannabis. Uh, but in much of the same way as Joe Rogan and, and Bill Maher, not liking what went down with the vaccines, not liking what went down with mandates, not happy with what went down around COVID. Okay? So let's look at this. This is wild. I will uh, play the clip in just one second. Woody Harrelson's opening monologue, this is Fox News, during Saturday Night Live, where he referenced the COVID-19 pandemic and collaboration between the medical industry and government push vaccines has sparked backlash online. By the way, Twitter CEO Elon Musk basically co-signed every, everything on this. Hilarious. Closing out the segment, talking about the monologues, Harrelson talks about a film pitch that included one of the, quote, craziest scripts he's read, which he included, quote, biggest drug cartels forcing people to remain in their homes unless they agree to take, keep taking their drugs. Think about this. So the movie goes like this, he explained. The biggest cartels in the world get together, buy up all the media and the politicians, and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes. And people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs and keep taking them over and over. He also said, quote, I threw the script away. I mean, who was going to believe that crazy idea, being forced to do drugs? I do that voluntarily all day. <laughs> He's great. Hodge Twins got this clip. Hey, so the movie goes like this. The biggest drug cartels in the world get together and buy up all the media and all the politicians and force all the people in the world to stay locked in their homes and people can only come out if they take the cartel's drugs and keep taking them over and over. I threw the script away. I mean, who is going to believe that crazy idea? Uh, I mean, so, yeah, exactly. Who would have believed we are where we are? And he made the analogy. He was obviously calling Big Pharma drug cartels. The comments were widely covered by media outlets who called them anti-vax or vax conspiracies. Several people on social media continued the conversation with many people agreeing with the actor. Then Elon Musk ch ch uh, chimed in. So based. Nice work at NBC SNL. When's the last time we could say that outside of uh, Chappelle being on there? Maybe they don't realize that their propaganda is wrong. This Because one that was answering a Twitter user that said, quote, get ready for the meltdowns. And then he tweeted out, on target. Absolutely. Absolutely. On Saturday, Musk shared a Babylon Bee article about 26% of Americans, quote, still trust the media. 
Harrelson's opening monologue included remarks about political division, and he described himself as, quote, and I know some of these folks, redneck hippie. (laughs) Quote, you know, the red in me thinks you should be allowed to own guns. The blue in me thinks squirt guns. So I'm red and blue, and it makes me purple. I'm purple. He also made a mention to smoking weed. Yeah, he's he's a, a cannabis guy. And made a joke about why he prefers it to drinking alcohol. Quote, the reason I like herb more than alcohol is it makes me feel good, no hangovers, and I never wake up covered in blood. God. Harrelson's appearance was a fifth time hosting SNL, which, like many companies across the country, observed stringent COVID-related health safety protocols at a time when the government were enacting lockdowns. Later in the show, Scarlett Johansson gave Harrelson a five-timers jacket. Very cool. Very, very cool. He last hosted on Thanksgiving 2019 before lockdowns were in place. Yeah, and you know, that's in New York. And you know how those lockdowns were up there. Of course, we know what happened with um, uh, Andrew Cuomo up there and all the nursing homes. And New York has been a shit show when it has come to COVID. An absolute disaster. Okay? They're nuts over the vaccine. They're nuts over mandates. They're nuts over lockdowns. I mean, they still have some protocols in place up there. I mean, really? Seriously? By the way, when I was talking about everything I I really loved Woody Harrelson and what he's been in, I forgot about Cheers. I mean, Cheers, epic, all time. And if you have not seen it, True Detective, especially season one, Woody Harrelson, Matthew McConaughey together as detectives hunting for a serial killer. And it is great television. It's awesome on the highest level the quality is off the charts i mean it is just two what we used to consider just movie stars just acting their ever loving asses off um no wokeness in that show that i could see now now the new incarnation i don't know because it i think it's all female led the new the new season jody foster's in it um it looks kind of awfully woke to me, so I don't know. You don't often see this kind of thing out in public, especially from a celebrity, from movie stars. Um, I'm going to have to look and see if Bill Mars had Woody Harrelson on Club Random because it echoes a lot of the things we've heard out of Mar and out of Rogan. Uh, so, look, they don't always have to be conservatives for us to cover it on this channel. Uh, when it's something this blatant and when so many leftists are crying their eyes out this morning, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cover it. That's all there is to it. Bravo, Woody Harrelson, Kingpin. Oh, my God. So many great lines came out of that movie. So many. Tell me what you think, Black and White Network supporters. Peace. I'm out. Until next time, Black and White Network supporters, make sure you go over and check out the Black and White Network merchandise store. 25% off USA First, 25% off USA First, go now.